Okay, so Tom, what do you think is the toughest section of Thunderbolt Raceway here at New Jersey Motorsports Park? Yeah, um, I mean, in my opinion, the toughest section of uh, New Jersey Motorsports Park, the Thunderbolt course is um, definitely like the seven, eight, nine. The the back section, a lot of the slower corners are um, pretty technical, pretty tough, and uh, that seems to be the difficult, the most difficult area with our cars. And what's going through your mind today in preparation for the race? I mean, there's lots of factors going in. Yeah, you know, um, just getting ready for the race. There's we have some stiff competition. There's uh, some really good cars that are that are pretty fast. Obviously, we got to you know make all 67 laps, which is the most important. We had a couple issues in the first practice that kind of set us a little bit behind the ball, but um, our car seems to be pretty good on older tires, which is the most important. It's going to be really hot this afternoon, so the track should be slick, and it'll be important to keep our car driving good, you know, in the long runs. Now, you know, you guys are practicing and you're qualifying. It's going to be the heat of the day. Now, what is the difference to you running, you know, in the heat of the day like this and then running at that twilight time, which is later in the afternoon? Yeah, well, I, hopefully it'll be a little cooler, which, <laughs> which is uh, one plus. But um, I don't know. I, I can't see the track changing too much because, you know, it'll be all heated up from, from all the sun all day. But um, I guess the one thing you might see, you might see a little bit reduction in track temperature. You could see um, maybe it'll be a little bit easier on the tires. But I don't think it's going to be a big, big difference until late in the race. Now, are you going into this afternoon with a specific race strategy? Uh, well, when we got done practice, we were you know, weighing our fuel, calculating fuel mileage, and seeing how uh, what our fuel windows will be for the race. So I, we, I, we don't quite have that worked out yet. Or well, I'm sure they do. I just hadn't heard yet. But um, it'll probably be a two-stop race unless it uh, unless the caution falls perfectly. Now, since you are an honorary drivers club member here at New Jersey Motorsports Park, do you think that gives you an advantage? Um, since you do have a little bit of experience with this track? Well, I mean, I, I hope, um, but uh, you know, it's funny, I, I don't get here as often as I'd like to, um, but uh, fortunately I've been here a lot with the Arca car over the past bunch of years and, and have the laps there, so hope that experience uh, helps me out a little bit this afternoon. And since you are from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, mm -hmm. what is, does this race mean anything specific to you since this is, you know, considered one of your home tracks? Yeah, of course. It's definitely the, the closest we get to home. So we have a lot of family that come out and, and support us. So, I mean, that's definitely an important thing. We've had some good runs in the past, but haven't quite been able to win. So, you know, it's definitely one that we circle on the calendar when the schedule comes out, and, and it is important to me. So, uh, you know, is it any different than any other race? Not really, but, um, but it is important to me. So what would this win today mean to you? Probably have a really good party later. <laughs> um, no, what, what, what does the, the win mean to us? I mean, you know, it'd be a big accomplishment just because we've been trying for a long time and it's kind of been a, a bit of a thorn. But um, I don't know, we've had, had some good days and I think our car's in good shape and uh, we'll have as good a shot as we ever have.